show him some humanity, right? Some people like wearing the mask. Yeah, I do actually. I'll follow you. Here, let's go over here. One A, right there. Yeah, is my hair sticking up or anything? Nope. Oh, good. That's good. <coughs> Am I?
Well, good evening. Good evening. Last time this group was gathered together in November of 2019, a couple months later we had to shut everything down for 14 months, so I'm hopeful that that doesn't happen again after this evening. So welcome to the Grammy Museum, uh, and more specifically, welcome to the Latin Music Gallery of the Grammy Museum. And I would like to thank uh, the board members of the Recording Academy, the Latin Recording Academy, and the Grammy Museum who are here this evening. A little bit about the Latin Music Gallery. So this was created uh, when Gabrielle and I were bored during a Recording Academy trustee meeting. <laughs> no offense, Tammy, you weren't chair. Um, where we decided that the Grammy Museum needed to have a much greater presence celebrating Latin music, and also celebrating music education. So we built this Latin music gallery, which is the largest enclosed gallery of the Grammy Museum. So our partnership has significantly amplified the museum's mission to educate, inspire, and share all forms of music by showcasing iconic moments and performances throughout the 20 plus years of the Latin Grammys. And throughout our partnership, Gabrielle has been a key influence on our expansion into celebrating the worldwide impact and awareness and growth of Latin music. So, welcome again to the Grammy Museum, welcome to the Latin Music Gallery, and thank you all for coming. Buenas noches a todos, bienvenidos, como están? Thank you, Michael, thank you for making mi casa tu casa. Tu casa, mi casa, whatever. It is great to see you all, great to have you here. It's amazing to have all these people together. Eh, y vamos a celebrar a Gabriel. Y sí, Gabriel, te vamos a torturar. Yes, you are going to be tortured, mercilessly. I mean, just, I mean, you know, the, you know the guy, right? So just imagine, he didn't know this was happening. He doesn't know the rundown. He doesn't know who's coming. He doesn't know who's talking. I mean, look, the poor guy is dying already. <laughs> <laughs> so Gabriel, I promise this is gonna be painful. <laughs> but out of respect to everybody, we're gonna keep it very short and very tight. So you're gonna hear from some people that you love, but not from all of them, because the list of people that wanted to say a few words for you was long, was very long. There was a lot of people that wanted to be here. So we're gonna keep it in you know, just three hours or so, and, uh, you know, and, and that, will, that, that will get us going. So why don't we kick it off with, uh, with the chairman of the Latin Recording Academy, tu amigo Eduardo Hutt. Jesus Christ, they, Man, Manuel asked me, and uh, Ibe has told me that I only have three minutes, and I told him that I don't even say one prayer in three minutes, so it takes more time for me. So, but I'm gonna be, I'm gonna try to be as brief as possible with the relationship that we have with uh, Gabriel and I have had, uh, and I'm gonna try to keep myself uh, strong enough. Um, Gabriel is one of the most rounded leaders I have seen in my 45 years of professional career. Where I have led several businesses and I have advised multiple CEOs and top senior executives running companies in Latin America. The, those of you that know me know that, that I have a pretty wide background in that regards. Gabriel has the very difficult ability to be objective, firm, and business oriented while being very sensitive and having a very deep, a very deep human touch that has impacted multiple lives with all the people that, have, that he has touched but as he's also very institutional and formal. And yes, as Manuel was saying, he wants to keep tight everything and he wants to be on top of everything. But at the same time, 
being institutional and formal, he has the, all the virtues of the founder's mentality. He's pragmatic, he's entrepreneur, he's an agile, and most importantly, very inspirational. But above all of that, Gabriel is a role model in working ethics. In summary, honestly speaking, and believe me that I've been in front of many CEOs, senior executives, chairmen, and the likes because of my work. In summary, Gabriel is a true, true, true leader. I have known and have the privilege to, work, to know Gabriel for 30 years. And it has been a true privilege to work together during many years as a trustee of the Latin Recording Academy, where his impact has been enormous. You all know them. You know the, all that, that impact. I don't have to say anything more about that. But more importantly, Gabriel is one of my best friends that I have the privilege to have made through life, professionally and personally. And we have many anecdotes. He still remembers that I told him when he got, when he got the offer to become the CEO of the Latin Recording Academy, I told him, you take it. Take it and then let you see what, what it happens. Don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> Fortunately, he took it. Fortunately for the academy, he took it. Unfortunately for himself. We share the same values, the same principles, where God and, where God and family are the center of our lives and hearts. And most importantly, this, has, this friendship has evolved not only between the two of us, but between Lauren and, his, and their family, together with Sarah and my family. Uh, I'm gonna say this in Spanish, and apologies to those that are, don't speak Spanish. By the way, I hope that you all learn. <laughs> Desde el fondo de mi corazón, querido amigo, compañero, consigliere, presidente, CEO, y eméritus. Millones de gracias por todo lo que has hecho por la industria y por su gente, y sobre todo, por brindar, brindarme tu amistad. Muchas gracias. Gracias, Chairman. That was, that was very moving. Um, so next up, we have the chair of the Recording Academy, Madam Chair, Tammy Hurt. Welcome. Thank you. Well, um, thank you, uh, Manuel, uh, Michael, Eduardo. Um, I'm honored to be here tonight to celebrate Gabrielle on behalf of the Recording Academy. Um, for those of you who may not have had the wonderful opportunity of being entertained during Gabrielle's presentations in one of our Recording Academy National Board of Trustees meetings, you have really missed out. <laughs> um, our board always looks forward to, with great anticipation and joy, our having Gabrielle and knowing he's gonna take the microphone to entertain us. Year over year, Gabrielle has always infused our board meetings with his humor and the warmth of friendship, even in a business culture. He forever embodies the definition of integrity and always has the Latin Academy's best interests at heart. Gabrielle cemented the Latin Grammys as a preeminent Latin music showcase when he spearheaded the transition from an English to a Spanish language broadcast on Univision in 2003. He expanded the presence of the Latin-themed exhibits at the Grammy Museum and was instrumental in celebrating the 20th anniversary of the organization in 2019. The Latin Grammys went on to win its first International Emmy Award in 2020 for the 20th annual edition of the telecast. 
So Gabrielle, on behalf of the Recording Academy, we are forever grateful for your indelible contributions to the Academies, the Grammy Museum, and our global music community. We thank you. Thank you, Tammy. That was, uh, that was really cool. I, I agree with you. The contributions of Gabriel to the Latin Academy have, you know, transcend to the, to the Recording Academy. And uh, thank you for recognizing that. And thank you, Gabriel, for being the, the, the promoter of that. So now, directly from La Madre Patria, de Madrid, former chairman of the Latin Recording Academy and current chairman of the Latin Grammy Culture Foundation, El Maestro, Luis Cobos. Gracias, Manuel. Es un auténtico honor estar aquí, con poca voz hoy, pero con mucho cariño y mucho corazón, porque estamos homenajeando a alguien muy especial. Te ha faltado, Manuel, decir current good friend of Gabriela Baroa. I will try to make my speech in the manner of Gabriela Baroa. which consists of jumping from Spanish to English and vice versa. Of course, <laughs> with lower linguistic quality in English than Gabriel has, <laughs> but with all my love. I appreciate the opportunity to express a few words of admiration and gratitude in honor to my dear Gabriel Avaroa. Hablar de Gabriel Avaroa es glosar la honestidad, el talento, el trabajo y el éxito. Durante años he venido compartiendo con Gabriel proyectos, ilusión, algunos problemas y muchas satisfacciones. En estos años hemos forjado entre nosotros una profunda y sincera amistad que se prolonga en el tiempo y puedo decir que somos amigos de verdad. Por ello no podré ser imparcial, porque soy declarado fan de Gabriel y sus méritos. Y esto es en serio. Cicero said, wisdom accompanies those who know how to keep alive the flame of friendship. You are a wise man, dear Gabriel, because in the midst of the difficulties that come with the intense work you have done for so many years, you have been able to cultivate and preserve friendships with enthusiasm, delicacy, and dedication. These sincere words that I dedicate to you today do not spring from the deep friendship that I profess for you. My works come from the analysis of your work and your personality. Y son también producto del tiempo, trabajando juntos en sintonía, compartiendo buenos y malos momentos, que me han permitido comprobar la gran calidad y bonomía de un hombre que se ha dedicado por completo full time a proyectar, cuidar y desarrollar esta magnífica realidad que es hoy la Academia Latina de la Grabación. Gabriel posee algo innato, encanto, charming, sauafea y una gran simpatía especial sentido del humor tanto en español como en inglés. <laughs> he can convince, explain, and make people laugh by telling an idea, a problem, a joke, a story, be it Mexican, Spanish, or Chinese. <laughs> and make Latinos and Anglos understand it all, get excited, and laugh. That's Gabriel. The constant dedication and his affable character give him a first-class human characteristic. His unquestionable leadership, natural and convincing, has been strengthened by his professional capacity and precision in carrying out challenges and tasks proposed and fulfilled. Han sido años en los que hemos sorteado grandes problemas y obtenido grandes logros. He compartido contigo, Gabriel, un magnífico y brillante periodo de progreso, afianzamiento, desarrollo y crecimiento de la Academia Latina de la Canación. 
has protagonizado la historia del gran salto de un discreto e imprevisible proyecto a la realidad de una institución sólida y reconocida en el mundo. La buena reputación de lo que hoy goza la Cámara Latina no se entiende sin mirar y valorar el gran trabajo y aportación de Gabriela Baroa, hoy aquí homenajeado con todo merecimiento. Gabriela has managed to combine the Latin and international identity of Laras and its presence in the United States and not only in the Latin sphere. Difficult task brilliantly and successfully overcome. The Latin Academy has contributed to making Latin music the meeting point for Latinos in the, in the United States. Whether they are artists or have any other occupation and the glue that unites Latinos in America about the politics, religion and other sociological elements that affect citizenship. Today, this is, for me, important and unquestionable and a great asset to take care of. Gabriel, después de varios años de intenso trabajo, con el respaldo y consenso del Consejo, consiguió multiplicar por 10 el valor económico y social de la Academia Latina y el reconocimiento de la comunidad creativa internacional. La Academia Latina goza de la confianza de la comunidad a la que representa una comunidad latina plurinacional, diversa, que aglutina artistas y profesionales de países que son, tal vez, sin parecerlo, muy diferentes. Y tienen distintas idiosincrasias, formas de vida y aspectos políticos y sociales. Esta confianza se ha forjado con honestidad, transparencia, eficacia y compromiso, pero también con la participación de Gabriel, que ha jugado un papel fundamental por su habilidad y empatía para relacionarse con los miembros de la Academia, artistas, autores, productores, ingenieros, creando a su vez un excelente equipo de trabajo y una excelente y equilibrada relación con Naras y sus dirigentes. Véase aquí el resultado. This loss is not an exaggerated list of merits of Gabriel, no. It is a fair chronicle of realities lived in the first person next to the protagonist. I know that you don't like these types of statements too much, dear Gabriel and that you will consider them excessive. But today is a good day for you to receive the respect, affection, and recognition that you deserve, and have earned in your own right. It is the fair harvest of what has been sown and belongs to you. One moment. <laughs> I'm nearly to the end, close to the end, but... He compartido contigo muchos años de lucha, de emprendimiento y trabajo, siendo tú el inspirador de muchas de las campañas y éxitos que hemos logrado tanto en la Academia como en la Fundación. Hemos creado junto a otros compañeros de viaje la Fundación Cultural Latin Grammy, que debe ser la joya de la corona de la Academia Latina y un noble objetivo para la Academia el sostener a la Fundación y soportar y apoyar su evolución. Esta es una gran responsabilidad para el board de la Academia y estoy seguro de que seguirá el compromiso por el bien de la cultura y la educación de los latinos. En el inicio y desarrollo de la Fundación también has tenido un papel fundamental, Gabriel, y te doy las gracias por ello. La Fundación Cultural Latin Grammy es el espejo en el que se miran y convergen aquellas personas que quieren devolver a la sociedad parte de lo que han recibido y de las que sienten que trabajar para ellos es un honor y una recompensa antes que una obligación o un deber. Thank you, Gabriel, for being the way you are for caring for and making the academy and the foundation grow and for guiding the path of purpose of improving lives. We both share that the main mission of the Latin Recording Academy and the foundation is to improve lives. Thank you, dear Gabriel, for filling our lives. Eh, pero no cabe dormirse en la contemplación y la nostalgia. Gabriel es un gran innovador y comparto con él la idea de o instigar el cambio a mejor, respetando la tradición y estimulando la vanguardia. Ambas son necesarias, no son antagónicas y son complementarias. Thank you, dear Gabriel, for filling our lives with enthusiasm, friendship, emotion and success. The sense of duty and love for what is well done define you as a great person. Con el cariño de siempre, y estoy seguro de que en nombre de muchas más personas de las que hay aquí, te felicito, te mando un fuerte abrazo presencial y creo que te debemos un fortísimo aplauso.
Luis, muchas gracias. Wow. That's a uh, ¿Cómo vas? <laughs> well, uh, that was that was very inspiring. So so far we've heard from you know, the chairs your contributions, your vast contributions to the music industry, to the institutions that you have worked with. And, you know, we can go on and on. I mean, Neil, Valicia, your trustees, Laura. I mean, I can see many people that could have come here and just keep talking and talking. And by the way, they will be saying exactly the same thing. But how about the other part of your life? Chairman was saying that you're a family man. And I'm sure that I've, if I was to ask you what's your most important job you've ever had, it'll be family related, right? So if I ask Christy or your brothers who are watching us via Facebook Live, uh, they will say that you're a great brother. Lauren will say that you're a phenomenal husband, the biggest liar of all. Doña Christy, Doña Christy, ¿cómo está? Doña Cristi seguro va a estar diciendo que eres un hijo maravilloso. Franco, Franco. Franco, ¿qué dirían tus hijos? I wonder what your kids will say. So Franco, unfortunately, couldn't make it. But the three others were in the neighborhood, and I just wonder if they can just come over and give us a few words. <laughs> Thank you, Manuel. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Diego. I'm Gabriel's oldest. Um, I'm sorry if I sound nervous. Uh, <laughs> I usually don't speak in public, and obviously with, with something so emotional. Much better than speaking at his eulogy, right? I have him here. <laughs> As you all know him, that's one of his key characteristics his humor and his dark humor. <laughs> I want to start off with, with some of the other characteristics that, that make this wonderful person that, that we have here uh, today. Number one, passion. I think the, the, the Latin Academy wouldn't be what it is without the passion that, that he has that has driven you know, it to where it is today. You know, from us being in family trips and him going to record stores to research uh, potential special merit uh, recipients or persons of the year, going to Museo del Disco in Calle Ocho in, in Miami. Um, you know, it, it's why I followed him into this, into this industry. I know at the beginning he wasn't happy when I first joined Sony, but when you see someone that enjoys so much what they do, it's, it's really difficult not to, to nurture off of that. Number two, and they're in no particular order, by the way, um, excellence. You know, I, th I think that's where the, the Grammy, the Latin Grammy brands with the Gabriela Baroa brand go perfectly hand in hand. Uh, he's always been able to, to drive home that excellence and, and always maintaining it to the highest levels. And as... Uh, as Manuel, I think, said, with the highest ethical standards as well, because it's, it's very easy to, to veer off and, and, you know, have a shortcut, you know, in order to, to, to reach those goals. But he's always uh, stayed his way, much probably to, to the anger of some people, you know, um, but I think that's, that's what makes him the person who he is. Funny. <laughs> Charismatic. I mean, again... Going back to the dark humor joke. <laughs> and as Tammy just said right now, your presentations, you know, I think that's what summarizes a, a lot of people for you, just that human quality that you have and how you're, you're able to make everything so funny in the best moment, in the worst moment, in the darkest moment, in the lightest moment. You have such an ability to, to just light up that room, uh, however dark or light it may be. This next one, I don't have a, a word to define, so I'm going to say a couple of them, one in Spanish, 
temático, OCD, <risa> dramatic, he loves his drama, he loves to exaggerate, which is part of the charisma that he has. According to him, well, in Miami it's probably true, but according to him, every business is doing some sort of mo money laundering, especially in Miami, so. Um, and OCD, I mean, <laughs> OCO. OCD, he can't see a cabinet opened uh, without shutting it. He, yeah, he's a particular man. <laughs> Leader, visionary, intelligent. I think just a matter that you have so many people here that have worked alongside you for, for such a long time. Aida, Libis, Luis, Grace, Davina. So many more, and I'm sorry if I forgot some of you, but you know, we, we feel that, that they're, well, Neil. We feel that they're like family to us. You know, um, when, when my wife and I got married, we invited them to our wedding because they, they've seen us grown up, grow up and, and they've always been a part of, or part of our family. And I think a great leader achieves that, you know, in, in his organization. Nosy. <laughs> and that one has two definitions. The first one you can see. <laughs> the second one, well, I think one of the positive things about this pandemic is that my mom and him have gotten up every morning and they go for a walk, 30, 30 minute walk, I think, every day. My dad is like the housewife of South Miami. He knows <laughs> whose landscaping is, you know, a couple days off. Um, whose mail got robbed at which uh, place, who got divorced where, it's... <laughs> Chismoso is the, the word in Spanish. <laughs> Strong and brave. Um, some of you may know, some of you may not, but he's battled health issues, you know, since he was very young. Um, and I'm sorry if I get emotional with this. Sorry. One of the happiest days of my life was when he was cured of, of hepatitis. And I know for, for my brothers um, and sister, sorry, Fatima, um, that that was one of the best days of, of our life when, when you were finally cured. And you know, seeing him go through, through so many you know, health battles, um, to so many appointments, so many uh, operations, so many, just, I don't know, it, it, I, I don't know how I would have been able to do it. Um, and that, that shows how strong you are. And even through all those moments, you were able to be the funny man that you are and be that wonderful human being. And that's why you have so many people. I don't know if you can see, but there's people standing back there. That's how, that's, <laughs> And obviously, I, I don't think the museum would be able to, fill, to hold the capacity of all the people that would love to be here with you. <laughs> Last, but certainly not least, Lorenza. As the saying goes, a man, um, I just forgot the saying, but the man, a man, a man is only as, as strong and as good as, you know, his spouse. And we would not be here. Obviously, my brother, my sister, and I would not be here today, but Gabriel wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for, for Lorenza, because she has been that motor that impulses him. She has been that person that grounds him. She's that person that centers him. She's the reason why Ricky Martin has performed so many times at the Latin Grammys. <laughs> but she's the she's 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 the core not of, only of his family of his, of him but of our whole family. She's she's the nucleus of our family, and she, this would not be possible without having her there. You know, having her at his bedside when he was going through some of these battles, having her with him uh, at 
presents of the year and you know Latin Grammys and you know making sure that he was getting enough sleep and resting and taking his medicines and everything that would not be possible without uh, my mother. We love you, you're our hero, you're our idol, you're everything we aspire to be, and I thank you for being part of your life. Diego, te la comiste, ¿eh? Como dicen, hijo, hijo, de, hijo de tigre pintito, ¿eh? Puta. I, I have a role for you. In, in... That was amazing. ¿Cómo vas, Gabriel? Hang in there. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. We're almost halfway through. <laughs> no, look, I, I, I'm, uh, I think such a hard act to follow, right? So now I get to close this thing. Um, so... In closing, I, I get to talk to you about from a group that I know is very important to you because you are very important to them. You mentioned them as family, and that's the staff, the staff of the Latin Recording Academy. And um, you know, it, it's believe it or not, that's the toughest job that I've had tonight to express their admiration, their you know, what do you mean to them? It's uh, it's it's just impossible to to really put in words. I would be remiss if I didn't start by recognizing the drivers of this initiative. Luis, Luis de Vez, Ibe, por supuesto, Libis, Grace, and I can go on and on because you know the team and of course the wonderful team of the museum who has made this happen. Uh, you guys have been amazing. And, but there's, there's a reason for that. They care. They care about you because you care about them. And, um, and I promise I'm gonna keep this very quick. But I want to share a story with you, because a little bit over two years ago, when I was invited to join the Latin Academy, I was invited as a consultant to put together a little project that was the strategic plan. And I said, you know, easy. We're going to put a couple of slides. We're going to put them in a nice frame. And off I go to the next thing. Well, <laughs> wrong. First of all, you've heard about that character, right? And you probably know a little about this other character, Two Virgos, very Virgos. I mean, they were fighting every word. Every comma needed to be negotiated. No, 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 it's got to be a strategic initiative. No, 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 it's got to be most win battle. No, 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 it cannot be like that. I'm like, really, people? I mean, come on, you know, chill. But there was one area in which I didn't get a single pushback. And it was a very important area of the organization, our values. Yeah, the values of the organization. I put them in front of them, not a peep. And you know why? Well, first of all, what are those values? Excellence, integrity, passion. I mean, funny enough, they've been described across the board tonight from all the different speakers referring to you, Gabriel. And the reason there were absolutely no pushback on those values is because the organization was already living through those values. The organization was already filtering everything that they do through those values. And you, my friend, personify those values because you have been able to imprint those values in the organization and for 20 years, those values have taken us to where we are today. So at this point, quite frankly, there's not a lot more to say. Only from, on the, from, the, from the staff, from your family at the Latin American Academy, I can only say one word and it's a big word, gracias. Ah, le voy a dar un abrazo a Gabriel, a, a Luis, a Libis. Pero háganlo aquí enfrente de todos. Share the love, people. Come here. That's, that's intimate. Wait, 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 wait here. Wait here, wait. Gabriel, 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 come here. Because at this point I'm, I'm going to ask uh, the chairs, all three of them, 
people to have a lot of chairs because we have a little token of appreciation that they want to present to you. So on behalf of the trustees of the Latin Recording Academy, the chair and the chair of the Recording Academy, please come here and, and show, show, him, show him the gift. Luis, pásale, pásale, pásale para que veas. So my friend Gabriel Lavaroa, the Board of Trustees, is presenting you with a little token of our appreciation for 20 years at the helm of this organization. Hasta guapo te ves, cara. Gabriel, sí, bueno, vamos a quitar todo esto. ¿Te recuerda el person of the year? Que no sabíamos dónde estaba el, el este. ¿Qué, ¿Ya estás listo? No. ¿No? ¿Y one more? I, no, I want to see all these people. Look at all these people. Isn't that cool? I owe them money. <laughs> <laughs> Bueno, ¿te gustó tu regalo? Sí. Because we have a little bit more. Michael, do you want to say a few words? Can I sit? Yeah, I think you should stand back here. Right in the middle. Gabriel, uh, no one in this room is surprised by all the kind words that have been said about you tonight. You are a good friend of mine, and you're a mentor, and you're really the reason that the museum has been able to grow the way it has, particularly the Latin music. So to celebrate our partnership and to celebrate you, we want to immortalize you in the museum. Ahora sí te toca, Gabriel. And you, you might want to close it. Before we... You want to close it so they don't get distracted. And after, after, after the remarks, you can just go and check out that video. We didn't want to put it in a small screen, so, you know, there's a very nice video of Gabriel. I'm going to cry. So give me a sec. So, thank you. I'm going to do it as the priests used to do it in the 50s. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm going to pray to God with all of you in the back. 
and I will do it in Latin. <laughs> just to be Latinos. Okay, so let me just, sorry, Manuel. I, I'm a freak, I know by now. Okay, I'll try to do my best. I have been absolutely blindfolded and blindsided. I didn't have a clue of this. So we are arriving today and I said, what a strange stop. I mean, why are we stopping at the museum? Someone said, well, because then we are going to walk to, to a restaurant to BS. <laughs> and when I come in, I turn to Javier Aguirre, our CFO, and said, Javier, are we doing something? And just by seeing him face, I saw that he was lying. And I said, I am absolutely screwed. So when I came up, I got so nervous that I had to go to, go to the restroom, and Neil Portner was there. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, this is kind of freaky. And then my, uh, the current chairman enters and goes inside the room. And so I just want to apologize, because I didn't know that this was happening. And then Manuel, who is exactly my opposite, I'm, I'm a f control freak. I have been all my life. And I cannot change it. I would love to, but I can't. So I, even when my son was saying, my son Diego was saying that I have OCD, I screamed and I said, no, I have OCO, <laughs> obsessive compulsive order. I cannot admit having disorder. So. <laughs> So Manuel, on his way out uh, today in one of the meetings, he said, listen, maybe we have an emotional moment today. Why don't you prepare some remarks? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I took a few notes. I put some words in different papers. And I, I just can't follow, because everything that has been said is too much. Let me, let me just try to organize this and try to organize my ideas. First of all, nothing of what has happened could have happened if we're not by many people, starting with my wife. Yeah. Yes. So I'm not going to tell you how much I love her and because she's going to believe it. And then I need to give her a better present very soon when we celebrate 36, 35, 35 years of being married. And they seem like a, like a fast moment in my life. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you for everything. My kids, who not only supported my bad moments and my good moments, and they were always there, I remember Neil asking me, how did you do this? You don't have enough staff. And I said, well, my kids were taken care of. And they were distributing program books, and they, they were collecting them to try to recycle them after. And uh, obviously, they arrived to my room. So we had like 17 Mexicans inside one small room. <laughs> and the Inigo, for example, helped me put together, uh, that's another story, helped me put together some videos to present to the Board of Trustees of the Recording Academy, because the first time I went to the Recording Academy in Hawaii, it, I, it was your first meeting, Neil, uh, I didn't have a clue of who I was, who they were, why so much people. And I just envisioned that no one cared, no one knew what the Latin Grammys were. And it was our fault, because we had to, and I say this respectfully, educate who didn't know us of who we were. So I found that the best way to do it was by being sarcastic. <laughs> because I had nothing to lose. So the first day, the first time I went there, I think I dressed uh, in front of everyone. Every time I turned to show a slide, I would take a hat, put it, then a mustache, then a sarape, and then just, just to to show if they wanted the stereotypes, they would get it with me. I'm not the best one, but I would do it. Then I began making my presentations with the help of my kids. They would try to do something. Now it's very easy to do it. At that time, they had to basically put together uh, cameras and films and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But one thing I remember is that we were always received by or welcomed 
by everyone at the Recording Academy with a smile, with understanding, with care. And sometimes we had problems just because we didn't know each other. So it occurred to us, to the Latin trustees, that the best way to do it was to open the house and say, hey, come to our meetings. And today, the Latin Recording Academy celebrated a meeting where for the first time I couldn't talk. <laughs> so I was like biting my nails and taking notes just for me. And, um, and I saw that uh, Tammy and Rico who were there and Carlos Alvarez on behalf of the Recording Academy, they were as passionate as everyone else uh, at the Latin Recording Academy. And I think that that process was just we were able to do it just because we all work together so closely. Um, I cannot even continue if I don't thank all the staff at the Latin Recording Academy, all the staff at the Recording Academy, Musicers, the Grammy Museum. Uh, in, in a moment, it was the Grammy Foundation as well. And uh, we have done marvelous things together. And then we have the members I see many members that I am honored to see, to see today uh, here. We have fantastic, amazing artists I respect and, and adore. And um, I see lots of faces that have been with us. We, at the end of the day, are a family. Need to stop. I won't tell a joke, I promise you. <laughs> OK. I turn, I see my kids, I want to cry. Uh, because I still feed them, and they eat a lot. <laughs> um, so when I see all this group of people, I really, I really believe that there is a lot, a beautiful future for music, not only in this country, but worldwide. Because music is what brings us together. We need to remember that every single moment. Um, I need to talk about my parents as well, just because they tried to attend every single Grammy event they could, and I didn't want them there. <laughs> Papás, si están viendo por Facebook para que entiendan, yo no los invité. <laughs> because my father would appear at the weirdest possible moment with his camera saying, smile to me. And I was like introducing Gloria Estefan. And, <laughs> My father went, and he didn't care about anything else, but it's a lesson of how much they love music. And they brought us into, into music. I remember my dad coming one day and said, bring all your brothers and sisters. We are like 138. And that's the legal part. And, <laughs> and uh, we came down to the car, and he had a drum set and speakers and guitars and bass. And I said, what the hell? And he said, I had a client who didn't have money, and he gave me all these in payment. He changed our lives because we began playing and we began doing the things professionally. And from the six siblings, five are actively, well, four are actively in the music business. One is like taking a nap and the other is in the, he, he's the wealthy guy. He's in the uh, motor and trucks uh, business. So music is what brings us together. and. Uh, I took my few remarks say the following. I'm going to go into Spanish. My apologies. And I don't want anyone to try to translate because these will not float. <laughs> Mario Ruiz Armengol, un compositor, Murió muy pobre y un día le dije, don Mario, ¿no le hubiera gustado tener más éxito? Y me dijo, lo tengo. Mis canciones son mis hijas. Perdónenme.
son mis hijas. Y acuérdate, Gabriel, yo no soy pobre, porque siempre al final tiene más el que menos necesita. Y esa frase me mató, porque me di cuenta que la gente que nos hace gozar necesita de alguien que le ayude, que los reconozcamos, que peleemos por ellos. Por eso la música vale tanto, porque hay tanta gente atrás componiendo, cantando, grabando, distribuyendo, lo que sea, pero la música nos llega acá. Let's never forget that music is essential to life. Imagine a world without music. It doesn't fly. So again, Nada de esto pasaría si estuviéramos solos. Y hay unas personas, there is a group of people that I want to recognize today, specifically, because it's unfair that I am here, and it's unfair that that has my name. I beg you to accept that that name is representing all of you. But I want to recognize the trustees, former, present, and future of the Latin Recording Academy who get together to do their best. And they argue, and argue, and argue, <laughs> and they love to argue, but they do it because they have passion. Because I am sure that every one of them wants to be fair to those poor musicians that are so wealthy. Let me try to translate what this guy said. I said, Don Mario, don't you feel that you didn't reach success? And he said, no, I'm very successful. At the end of the day, the wealthiest is not the one who has the most, but the one who needs the least. And I need very little. So, thank you. This is amazing. Uh, I was not joking when I know that I owe money to a lot of you. <laughs> so please, anything that has to do with money, go with my wife. <laughs> And I want to thank Lorenza. Gracias por estar conmigo una vez más. A mis hijos, Manuel. It's very unfair. I cannot mention the name of all the employees and people that make the, the Latin Recording Academy feasible and, and working, and the Recording Academy, and the Grammy Museum, and Musicers. And, but to all of you, my heart, my recognition, my, 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 my thank you. And um, I'm so emotioned that the job I was going to start uh, some Latino awards called the Gabrieles, I'm not going to do it. I don't, want, <laughs> I don't want to create competition. And I also want to recognize uh, Jorge Hernandez Toraño, who has been our legal counsel in the best moments and in the worst ones, and, uh, and Gary Smith, who has brought uh, some kind of seriousness to our meetings not because we respect him, because he's the funniest and he's the, the worst behaved of all of us, <laughs> but because he makes 17 guys speak English just because he never misses a meeting. <laughs> never. I don't ever recall Gary Smith missing a moment. We want him to go even to the pee-pee room. He doesn't leave the room. <laughs> so thank you, Gary. Thank you, Jorge. And thank you all. I, I don't have any more words. Thank you. Thank you. Sala like que te den otro aplauso. Thank you. Just because you're asking a joke. No, no. I don't have the guts, and in this new world, it's better not to do it. No, no. Now you can go to Yale. So uh, thank you very much. I, I do not know what's next. Is your. No. 
No, this is it. I mean, please enjoy, have a mingle, and take the time to go into the Gabriela Baroa Gallery and check out a two-minute video that will be looping, so you don't have to get all in at the same time. I and know, I know what I want to of say. Course. Yes, yes, I just remembered. So please sit down. Is I promise you won't be more than thirty-five seconds. <laughs> no, 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 no. So, if I have so much love from people, and if if I am so honored of having had the opportunity of working for this institution, and if I have been around music for forty-five years of my life with my siblings, with my family, everything is around music. Why am I leaving? <laughs> well, why have I, I left? And the reason is no one of us is ever essential. And our obligation is to do our best, clear the path for new generations, new blood to come. With new ideas, with new challenges, but also challenging the status quo. So the idea is that we flow just as music flows. And that is why I don't step aside. I'm going to be as active as, as ever, but now honoring that there is a new vision. And I only hope that this new vision, I don't hope, I am sure that this new vision that includes trustees, employees, Manuel's leadership, and uh, the members of the academy, and why not the musicians and the, and the artists and the engineers and the producers and everyone who is here and everyone who is around music, that we do something to make this activity to be better. That is why I'm moving aside, I'm not leaving, and I'm going to start a joke factory <laughs> at at www.gabrieljokes.com. <laughs> Thank you. Bar is open, let's have a drink. Can we leave it open? I'm just gonna.